for three of the six Blue Angels pilots. The 2012 Homecoming Air Show will be a final farewell. I've got three flights left in the aircraft or in with the Blue Angels, um, and it's something I'm really going to miss. I mean, you can't you can't beat the, the type of flying we get to do. We get to uh, push it to the extremes, to the envelope, the, the way that the uh, F-18 was designed to fly. Lieutenant Commander C.J. Simonson is one of the three Blues retiring from the Navy's Flight Demonstration Squadron. And this is not the pinnacle of our career. This is just a stepping stone to uh, get to where we need to get to, and, and hopefully I'm in the Navy for a long, long time. And, and uh, you know, go move up the ranks. The Blues schedule is exhausting. They perform at more than 70 shows at dozens of locations across the U.S. every year. Because of the grueling schedule, the Navy rotates pilots to avoid burnout and fatigue. Simonson, Blue Angel number five and the lead solo will miss the adrenaline rush associated with aerobatics and breathtaking maneuvers, but the Navy pilot says he'll also miss the interaction with Blues fans and the relationship and friendships he's developed at air shows across the U.S. Places like, you know, North Dakota, Minnesota, Iowa, you know, places in mid-America that there's not a lot of big military presence. It's a huge honor to, to, to be able to do that. A few members of the ground crew are also moving on. To know that I'm part of a hand select few of maintenance personnel uh, brings me a lot of satisfaction. The thrill of a lifetime and a privilege, an honor these military heroes will carry with them on their next adventure. At NAS Pensacola, Pat Peterson, News 5.